Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. My wish was to get to see a volcano erupt. Wow. And I saw it, and it was very fun. And I wanted to see um, tsunami, but that wasn't able to happen. <laughs> I had uh, five parrots, but I had to give them up when everything started. And they said, if we could have one wish, what would it be? And I told them I wanted a pet bird again, but I wanted something different this time. So I wish for a toucan. Uh, the Make-A-Wish Foundation grants wishes to children who are suffering from uh, medical ailments. It doesn't have to be on death's door or anything like that. It's just like anybody who's just suffering from something. When a child's very sick with a life-threatening illness, that it's very difficult to get through the treatment and they need something to hope for, something to look forward to. And Make-A-Wish gives children that opportunity because they help make children's wishes come true. And when my son was suffering in the hospital with uh, aggressive high-risk leukemia at Sloan Kettering in Manhattan, he was having a very difficult time getting through the chemo treatment. And when he knew that he wanted to see a volcano erupt, he had something to look forward to. And we would mark off the days on the calendar. And Make-A-Wish did so much to grant his wish and make his dream come true. And it made his illness and the treatment so much easier to cope with. And not only did they treat my son, but they treated the entire family. And my daughters and they also were affected by his illness and the entire family. We were all able to gather together at the end of his treatment and go to Hawaii and not only see volcanoes erupt, but we also did many other things. Today we are sharing uh, the finished project that Splashes of Hope has donated to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Our walls have come alive. They tell the stories of the wonderful wishes that we have fulfilled over the years. And each wish is as unique and special as each and every child who's dreamed them. We're a nonprofit organization of artists and we paint scenes to bring comfort to children in hospital environments mostly. But we also um, have expanded our mission from the beginning into um, nursing homes, social services, um, orphanages, and we have uh, an art studio in Huntington that's provided by the Suffolk County Parks Department. Each year we choose a facility that we're going to splash, a facility that's on our waiting list. I guess it took about six months, the full process. The Make-A-Wish Foundation wanted to warm up for the offices. We have events where the kids are invited and the families are invited. Our board members meet here. And we want something that's indicative on the walls, it's indicative of what we do for the kids. Some of the ones that really stand out are um, Patrick's wish to meet Smarty Jones. He's nine years old, he's hearing impaired, um, he has hydrocephalus, which is water on the brain, and um, at the age of four, he woke up on Christmas morning and had lost his sight. Um, so when he said that he wanted to meet Smarty Jones, it was just the way that he experienced that wish was so different because he was happy just to pet him and to hear him running through the fields. The Make-A-Wish Foundation of Suffolk County has uh, been in existence for 27 years and we have granted over 1,800 wishes and each year um, you know the wishes keep coming and we grant on average right now 125 wishes uh, in Suffolk County alone. I'm very proud to see him at part of the mural. I think it's full of life because everyone that's in that mural is a survivor.